Hey guys, it's Aislin and in today's video, we're going to be diffusing my hair. Finally, I heard you guys, you guys want me to diffuse my hair and I also really want to diffuse my hair. If you guys haven't seen my last video, hi, I have lavender hair, it was accidental, but I love it. I'll leave a link to that video up here in case you guys missed it. So yeah, my hair is now lavender, but it's cute, she cute. And today we're gonna diffuse my hair. So I purchased so many different products for wavy and curly hair. I asked you guys over on Instagram, what products you guys use for your wavy or curly hair and I got so many good responses so I chose the top like four hair care lines specifically for curly or wavy hair and I went ahead and purchased all of them so today we're gonna be trying the first line today this is the X Mondo line a lot of you guys said that X Mondo has really good products for wavy and curly hair let me just tell you guys I know I don't have curly hair I'm not saying I got curly hair, but I do have natural wave to my hair. My mom and my dad both have the same like natural wavy pattern came to me too. So yeah, I do have wave in my hair and I definitely feel like I can enhance it so much by using a diffuser. I had to go purchase a diffuser because I didn't own one. I have literally not diffused my hair in probably five years. Whenever I get out of the shower, I normally just let my hair air dry and I have like a natural wave right in the back of my head specifically. And my hair is at like peak healthiness. It's been in a long time. So that enhances my wave even more. So I notice it a lot more now when I get out of the shower if i just scrunch my hair when i get out of the shower and let it air dry i do have a little bit of wave so i feel like using the correct products and adding the diffuser in there will definitely definitely help enhance my wave pattern so let me show you what products we have today here is the xmondo products let's go through them these are all products i've never tried before so i'm also excited to be trying some more xmondo hair care products okay so we have here a shampoo and conditioner this is the wave tech shampoo and conditioner and if you didn't know his shampoo and conditioners are sulfate free they're vegan cruelty free and gluten free paraben free they're really really good for your hair i love his shampoo and conditioner i use it regularly i use his bonding one i use his color safe one i've used a lot of them i do want to try the purple shampoo that he has it seems super super strong so if you guys want to see me try the purple shampoo i will purchase it for you guys and try it the next product we have is wave tech hydrating wave cream and then we have wave tech wave foam okay so those are the next two and then we have one more product here and this is the wave tech wave revival mist like i said i know nothing about any of these products so i definitely need to read a little bit about them before i use them so i know what order to use them in how much to use and exactly how you're supposed to use them with the diffuser do i use them before do i use them after i have no idea so we need to read all the steps together and figure out in what order we do these i do have a coupon code with xmondo so if you love the products if you guys want to try these products or if you've been wanting to try his hair color or any other products from his hair care line definitely use my coupon code to save yourself some money because these products are pretty pricey i'm not gonna lie they are pretty pricey i've bought so many of his products with my own money i spent hundreds of dollars on x mondo like because i just love the products and the smell so much so if you're curious about them you've been wanting to try them go for it but make sure to save yourself some money so obviously first is going to be the shampoo pretty standard i'm just going to wash my hair with shampoo I'm gonna follow up with the conditioner. That's pretty easy. The things we need to figure out are these three products, okay? I need to go ahead and read about them and then um, I'll come back and let you guys know what the deal is. Okay, pretty simple, didn't take me long to read. So these two, the Wave Tech Foam and the Hydrating Wave Cream, these two you apply on damp hair and then you can go ahead and diffuse. Obviously you're gonna get a better result if you diffuse your hair. And then this step, which is the Wave Revival Mist, this you're supposed to do on dry hair so i'm just going to read you each step on the back of the bottle and tell you what it says i'm not sure if i should use the hydrating cream first or the wave foam my gut tells me to go with the foam first and then add a little bit of cream on top of the foam i just feel like that makes more sense rather than putting cream on your hair and then trying to put foam on top of cream i think that makes sense to do the foam first and then the cream so this is going to be a five step process today shampoo conditioner foam cream and then once my hair is almost dry after i get done diffusing it i'm just gonna spray this on there and then diffuse for just a few more minutes to really enhance the wave i'm really excited you guys i haven't seen my natural wave like fully in its final form in years and i'm excited to see exactly 
how much my wave has progressed especially having healthy hair. I'm excited to see what that looks like. So the shampoo on the back says, get soft and manageable waves that glow. The shampoo will boost hydration and tame frizz, designed with wave flex technology to provide the perfect foundation for styling your natural texture. Apply shampoo to wet hair and massage into a lather, rinse thoroughly and follow with wave tech wave conditioner. So then we go to the conditioner and the back says the exact same thing, except for it says apply conditioner to damp hair, leave on up to five minutes and rinse thoroughly so pretty standard instructions for shampoo and conditioner next we're going to go in with a foam this says be bold and make waves wave tech wave foam is designed to enhance wave formation and control frizz emphasize your existing wave or create new body on straight hair this is the new age of the defined wave distribute product to evenly coat damp hair and scrunch diffuse or air dry for flawlessly defined waves so that's good to know you don't have to have curly or wavy hair to use this you can use this on straight hair if you just want some volume if i don't blow dry my hair i don't have any volume in it it's it dries pretty like flat so the only way i get a lot of volume with my hair is if i blow dry it so adding this foam in even when I'm blow drying my hair like this and it's going to be like straight, I will probably still use this just to get even more volume because of this haircut. I love the voluminous look. So it's good to know I can use this no matter how I style my hair. I'll just add it into my hair care routine. The next step is the cream. So this says get sexy and defined waves without the crunch. This cream is designed with wave flex technology to enhance existing body and movement for the perfect natural look and extra hydration for dry hair. Distribute product to evenly coat damp hair and scrunch. Diffuse or air dry for flawlessly defined waves. Pretty simple. The last one we're gonna do is of course the Wave Revival Mist. This says, bring those waves back to life. This mist is designed with wave flex technology to refresh your style and enhance body and movement. Infuse your hair with essential nutrients for frizz-free waves that glow. Spray 12 inches away to evenly coat dry hair. Twist and scrunch hair to redefine waves. So this is a product that you can use next day. That's one thing when I used to diffuse my hair that I did not like is like, it looks great the first day you diffuse it, but then once you sleep on it, it just kind of becomes a hot mess. Like it's just a hot mess express up in here. So this would be a great product to just spray and then re-diffuse, redefine your curls or your waves or whatever you got going on. So I'm excited to try this. I got a product to revive them. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shampoo and conditioner off camera and I will be right back so we can jump into the three steps that we're gonna do after that. Hopefully my lavender hair doesn't go anywhere because I really love it and I'd like for it to stay a little bit longer. So I'll be right back so we can diffuse my hair. All right, we are back hair is still lavender i did see a lot of purple suds though i have tried like three or four different shampoos and conditioners from ex mondo and i think that this shampoo is my favorite i've tried a lot of the shampoos are very thin and runny from ex mondo i think part of that has to do with not having sulfates in the shampoo it makes it harder to lather and i feel like i use a lot of product when i'm using ex mondo shampoos just because it's so thin and there's no sulfates which is better for your hair but i feel like i use a lot of shampoo but this shampoo was a lot thicker and it felt more like luxe and like it lathered a lot better even though it's sulfate free i just felt like it lathered really well it did a great job at washing my hair the conditioner was very similar to all the other conditioners i've tried they are very thick they make your hair feel soft all right hair is now combed out i'm gonna go ahead and apply some of these products we're gonna go in with the wave foam i'm gonna shake it up first i'm not sure how much to use so I'm just gonna go in a little at a time. It smells amazing, it smells like all of his other products. I'm just gonna work this through my hair. It is definitely a light foam. It's not a mousse. I feel like a lot of uh, wavy curly hair products that are mousse are like kind of thick. Um, this is not like that. It's very airy, lightweight. Here's what it looks like. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there because I have couple other products to use. I don't want to overload my hair with products and weigh it down. This feels light, makes my hair smell so good. Definitely feel like I worked it in there good. Already my hair feels like a little bit more grippy than it did before. So there's that. Now we're gonna go in with the wave cream. Ooh, okay, the nozzle on this is different. Ooh, that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna go in with that amount for now. Ooh, this is thick. Ooh, it smells really good. 
So I'm just gonna run it through my hair and then I'll start scrunching it just to get the product distributed evenly. Just gonna run my fingers through my hair, top and bottom. Okay. Oh yeah, you see that already starting to come up here. I'm just gonna start scrunching my hair up. Wave pattern has been activated. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go in with the blow dryer and diffuser. So I'm gonna show you the blow dryer and diffuser I use. This I got from Sally Beauty. It's an ion blow dryer. And then they have attachments. This is actually a universal diffuser attachment that they sell. It is by ion, but it says it's universal. So I think it would fit on probably quite a few different blow dryers. And I like it because it's easy for travel. Like it flattens like this or for storage. And then when you're ready to use it, you just pop it up, slide it on the end of your blow dryer and there it is. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna mess around with the intensity and the heat and everything. Cause I honestly, again, haven't done this in years. So I'm not really sure how to do this. So we're just gonna experiment together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and probably mute this part because it's gonna be very loud. Okay, now that I have it diffused, like I would say it's probably like 80 to 90% of the way dry. I'm going to go ahead and use the spray here. We have the Wave Revival Mist. So the first two products are very, very lightweight. Back in the day, you guys know, like when I was in middle school, first few years of high school, it was a trend to have like crunchy curly hair. You know what I mean? Like you would use heavy duty product, got to be glue gel, Aussie, like stuff that would make your hair crunchy. And then your hair would be like that until you wash it again and wash the product out. And you would have to wash your hair like three times to get all the product out. Nowadays, the type of waves that are trendy are a lot more like beachy, loose, not crunchy. You don't want to be crunchy. You know what I'm saying? You want to be soft and flowy. These products give you that. Like, as you can see, my hair still has a lot of natural wave to it while being soft and pliable. It still flows in the wind. Like I could brush this out and then style my hair in curls if I wanted to. Like it's not heavy. It's not gonna weigh your hair down. My hair still feels light and airy while giving me my natural wave pattern. I feel like this spray is probably gonna be a little bit more grippy. Okay, I think it's gonna give you a little bit more hold. And I want just a little bit more hold in my hair right now because right now it's a little too loose. And I just wanna give it a little bit more grip because I feel like if I leave it just with these two products, my hair might flatten a little bit throughout the day. So I'm just gonna go through and mist. Here we have it. I'm just gonna go back in and scrunch my hair. So let me continue diffusing and then I'll show you the finished result in just a second. Hopefully it's good. Okay, <laughs> we are back. This is my final diffused hair. So as you can see, this did an incredible job at enhancing my natural wave. Like, wow, my hair still feels like very pliable and like tousled. It just feels really, really nice and soft. No crunchiness whatsoever. The spray definitely gave it a little bit more hold. I am just going to go through and finish it. I just like top it off with a little glaze because I feel like sometimes it can get a little frizzy when you're diffusing your hair. So I'm just going to very lightly because I don't want to re-wet it. Very lightly give my hair another little burst of some of that and here's what it looks like honestly it's a lot bigger <laughs> than what i thought it would be like it is very cute honestly it's cute i like it um it's a lot more work than just blow drying my hair though which i don't know how this would look on like the second and third day i suppose i could just mist it with that mist and it would reactivate it like just rediffuse it every day it is a little bit more work than just blow drying it naturally it's really cute i love my natural wave i haven't seen it in so long and i definitely feel like it's gotten more enhanced since the last time I saw it. Some things I learned for the first time diffusing my hair in years. Um, so for the whole entire first part of me diffusing my hair, I had it on like the low heat setting with high intensity. I think I got that wrong. I think I should have done high heat with low like blowing. When you have it on high, and it's blowing that air, it gets a little bit more frizzy, which is no big deal. I can always tame it down with the spray. After I misted it for the first time, I used high heat with a low like airflow. And I feel like that definitely worked better at setting in the product. Whereas if when I used the low heat the first half, I don't feel like it set the product as much as the high heat with low blowing power. So here's what my hair looks like. I will spin around and show you the full 360. 
honestly, I almost thought about not even doing this video, even though you guys really wanted to see it. And even though I was really curious, I thought about just doing it off camera because I feel like the curly hair community, ooh, they can be a little fierce and a little rude. Like if someone like me who just has like light natural waves says I have curly hair or wavy hair, I feel like I can get attacked very easily because curly haired people who have true curly hair, I feel like they take offense to people like me who have just natural waves. When I say I have curly or wavy hair, they're like, no, you don't, your hair's straight. So I'm almost thought about not doing it because people can be pretty aggressive in the curly hair community. <laughs> But um, yeah, I know I don't have like super curly voluminous hair, but I like the natural wave I have. And yes, I do have natural wavy hair. So hopefully you see my natural waves like I see my natural waves and you don't think I just have straight hair. So here is this side. Let me show you the back. Here is the back. I feel like the back is like the most curly for me, like right in through here. I always have like the most wave right in through there. I think this style complements my haircut. I don't know, I like it. I think it looks cute. It's easy, it's breezy, it's beautiful. Overall, I absolutely loved this hair care line. I feel like it's so beginner friendly. I feel like it's hard to overuse because they're all so lightweight. No crunchiness, but you still get a lot of hold. I love that you have a product that will refresh your hair. You know, it's a whole line. You don't have to worry about trying to find products that mesh well together. You can just buy the whole line and then you have your whole entire hair care routine on the days you want to have wavy or curly hair. I love these products. I'm excited to try other lines and see how they compare to these. I think it's cute and I think it looks good with this haircut. Also the color still looks really good. It's definitely starting to get more of that like white blonde tone to it, but it's still really pretty. Like I said before, I will leave a link to all the products I used in the description down below in case you guys want to try these products or you want to check out any other products by X Mondo. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. I